Greetings, great and learners. My name is Mr. Simbi and welcome to today's accounting class. In today's class, I'm going to be talking the statement of financial position. However, I'm going to be focusing only on the current liabilities. So my focus is going to be on current liabilities. Did you know that current liabilities are short-term debts or obligations that a company is expected to settle within one year? Here are today's lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to prepare the statement of financial position. You must also be able to do adjustments to the statement of financial positions. At this point, you should already know the format of the statement of financial position. This is very important that you know that when you're preparing your statement of financial position, you start with your assets. And under your assets, you have your non-current assets as well as current assets. Then you now have your equity and liabilities. This becomes the second section of your statement of financial position. And in this section, today we're going to be focusing on current liabilities. So you have to know the format of the statement of financial position. You should also know how to calculate equity and you should know how to do calculations on non-current liabilities. Here are new words and language that you are going to learn in today's class. Bank overdraft. This is when the balance in a bank account goes below zero and the account holder is allowed to withdraw more funds than available. So you have a bank account and you have money in the bank account, but you spend that money until your account goes to zero. That means you have no money anymore, but you are still able to withdraw more money beyond the zero. That means you are now withdrawing more than what you have available in your account. That is what we call a bank overdraft. Dear learners, let's go for a net break and I'll see you shortly.